Hello, I'm Karen Swan and I'm the author of this book, The Tale of the Whale, which is a story about a friendship between a child and a whale as they go on a journey of discovery across and under the ocean. Wouldn't it be amazing to have a whale as your best friend? Imagine the adventures you would have. I thought we could make a whale friend of our very own to keep. This whale is made out of a toilet roll tube. If you want to have a go, there are a few more things that you will need. So to make your toilet roll well, you'll need the following things. Some scrap paper, a marker pen, a toilet roll, some scissors, some paint and a paintbrush, some glue and a messy apron, of course. So to make our whale today, what we're going to do is to take our toilet roll and give it a little squish like this. This is just to make it easier to draw on it at the moment. And then we're going to mark a shape on it, nice simple, at the front. So we're going to make the front of his face is going to look like a rounded bit like this. And then we're also going to draw another line on him, which is going to make the tail section. So we're going to come up like this and up towards the top. That's just to give you your lines for cutting out to make it a little bit easier. We're going to take our scissors and again, if you need a grown up to help, that's absolutely fine. It'd be good to get a grown up's help to cut out if you're not sure what you're doing. We're going to cut out along the lines that we've just made, like this. And on the other side as well. Follow the shape round like that. And then this is going to give us the main shape of our whale and where his tail is going to go. And this little section here, when you open it out, is going to make the tail. The tail is going to fit on there, maybe just underneath like that, to make our whale when he's finished. So the next thing we're going to do is to give our whale a little coat of paint. I'm going to get him covered in blue because that's the colour I've chosen. doesn't really matter what colour you paint your whale. I've gone for blue whale because I tend to do the blue whales anyway. It's a different colour, blue to the last one I did. That's okay. So I'm going to cover the toilet roll in paint. Again, you might need your messy apron on for this bit so you don't get in too much of a mess. Oh, I'm going to paint it so all over the whale that way and then the tail as well. I'm going to give that a quick coat of paint to make it all the same colour. It's a little bit messy, I get it on my fingers, but I'm okay with that. There we go, I might just paint the back of this one as well, just in case I want to put it that way around on my whale. There we go, you can lay it flat down on the table if you want to, if you've got something underneath it, that's fine. Give it all one big coat of paint and then we put it aside to dry. Okay then, so while that's drying we're going to have a go at making the splash that's going to come out of the top of the whale. So for this we're going to use a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper from my scrap drawer. This is very similar to when I made the egg box whale. We're going to cut a rectangle like that, so we've got a nice rectangle there. And we're going to cut slits down the paper, the same as we did last time. So if we hold the paper lengthways, we're going to cut about two thirds down the paper, but not right to the end, so it will all hold together still. And we just make a series, oh, that's a little bit far, that first one. A series of little slits down the paper like this. Just try not to take it too far so you don't cut right the way through the paper. A little bit fiddly again, so again, if you need a bit of help with the scissors to help make this bit, that's absolutely fine. All the way down here. Ooh, little thin one, little thick one, doesn't really matter. That's probably far enough on that, so I'll pop that down. And then we're left with a piece of paper like this with some slits in it. And we're going to give it a roll up. Roll it up like this. And that's going to help with the when the whale blows out of his blowhole. Sometimes some water comes out too. It's mainly air, but sometimes water comes splashing out too. 
And we're going to make it look a little bit like that. So we just open out the, the pieces like that. There we go. And pop that down as well. Now my whale is more or less dry. I'm going to take this top section again. I'm going to cut a little tiny nick in the top like that, which is just enough of a little triangle to fit the blue, the water splash when it comes out of it into. And then with my whale, I'm going to take my marker pen and I'm going to draw a big smiley face on him. I'm going to go from here. My whale's quite dark in this blue, isn't he? I did it with a light blue with the egg box where it's a bit easier to see. And he's going to have an eye too, just about here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Give him a great big smiley face. Whoa. And a little eye there as well. Okay, it's still a little bit wet. But that's okay. And then I'm going to take the whale again and open him back out and take a little blob of glue. And that's going to be to stick the tail onto. A little drop of glue under here. I've got green glue on mine. It doesn't really matter what colour your glue is. Oh, it goes that way up. Stick that onto there like that. So now your whale has got a tail. And you can bend this up slightly if you want to just here. There's my whale has got a tail. And then the last thing I'm going to do is to pop the water splash in the top. Oh, just need to tighten that up a little bit because it's gone a little bit loose. Let's give that a little bit more of a tighten up. Oh, yes, yeah, just rolling it back up again so it's a little bit tighter. And hopefully, it'll fit in the top like this. There. Open it back out again. And there's my water splash. Pop a fiddle there. There's my water splash. And there's my whale, ready to go off sailing. There are lots more ideas over on my website, karenswan.com, including some story writing or drawing activities you could have a go at. There are also lots more craft activities to try. You could have a go at making your own plate or card whale, or a whole collection of egg box and toilet roll sea creatures. I'd love to see any that you've made. You could perhaps ask a grown up to take a photo and tag me in on social media with a picture of your creations. I hope you enjoyed making your whale. Perhaps write a story about them, or maybe draw a picture and let me know what adventures you go on together. Have fun.